What's up guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio. And in this demo creator tutorial, we're gonna get the editor set up so you can start editing your videos. This video you're watching right now is sponsored by Wondershare. So without further ado, let's get on to the tutorial. So opening the software, we now have this page and I've saved and named the previous recording we made in the previous video, tutorial. So it's named tutorial. So all we gotta do is double click tutorial to open the video editor. Alternatively, you could just click video editor and import the media that you want. But let's hit tutorial. All right, so now it's loading up the media files that we have. Perfect. To get you used to the overall workflow of Demo Creator, I'm gonna show you how to import media and export media. First of all, we wanna make sure that we're in this file folder tabs on top. We have that selected. Let's right click and hit import media files. For this example, I'm gonna import some music that I wanna put over my tutorial. Let's hit import media files. I'll go to wherever I keep my music. Select whatever music you like and it'll load itself into Demo Creator. Now we just click and drag this down to the timeline to add it to our video. Quickly, we can edit the volume of the music, put it down to maybe 40%, and we can make it fade in at the beginning and fade out at the end. So now that my video is where I want it to be, at least for a basic video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to export your video. Come up here to export, hit create video, add a name to it. By default, it's going to export to your documents, Wondershare Demo Creator Exported Files folder. And it says it right here under directory. We can look over our general settings. It's going to export at the resolution that we took the video in. It's gonna be 30 FPS and the bit rate's gonna be 8,000. We looked over everything and it looks good. We're gonna hit export. And then it'll start converting and rendering our video. And once the video is done, we can hit open folder to see where our video landed. So I'm gonna X this out. That's a basic workflow in Demo Creator. You import your files, you edit them on the timeline down here, and then you hit export, create video. Now I'm gonna go over some basic project settings so you can get your exported video looking exactly like how you want it. Let's head to file, project settings. Here we can set the resolution of our video, the frame rate, and the background color if we need to. I don't want my video to be the resolution that I recorded at. I want it to be a 16 by nine ratio full HD video. So what I'm gonna do is gonna to go to custom under video resolution and select 1080p full HD, 1920 by 1080. Now when we render our video, it's gonna look like a standard 1080p video instead of the uncommon resolution that we recorded it at. So I wanna make sure it's at 30 FPS. If you have a lower end PC, you might wanna turn down the playback resolution to 1 4th or 1 16th depending on how powerful your PC is. Full is going to use the most processing power and 1 16th will use the least. So if you have a computer that isn't so strong, maybe try one of these settings while you're editing your video so you can get smooth playback. The background color is the default color the video editor is going to show when there's no media there. So let's set it to blue and then say we hide this media, it's gonna show our background as being blue. Also the sides of the viewer will show in a related color to your background. Lastly, we want to make sure that our video is in frame. Let's click on the video and scale it up. You can click and drag the video and Demo Creator will automatically center it using its transform guides. You can also use the scale slider under transform when you click on your video. All right, that looks good. When we're done and we've watched over our video and it looks like how we want it to, we can hit pause, go to export, create video, and finish off the process here. Before I go, I wanna let you guys know that Wondershare is hosting a contest surrounding this program, Demo Creator. I'll leave a video with more information in the description, but basically what you have to do is create a video using Demo Creator with the hashtag start YouTube with Demo Creator. But how can we get our video from Demo Creator to YouTube? So there's two ways to do this. We could export our video and create video just like normal and then drag and drop it to upload it to YouTube. Or there's an option right here under the local export option. Click that. This option will allow you to sign in with your YouTube channel and upload videos directly from Demo Creator. So once you hit export, it'll create the video and upload it straight to YouTube. Right here, you can edit your title. You can edit the YouTube description. You can even actually add tags on here, which is pretty nice. It also has another quality setting. So say that I didn't set the quality in project settings before, 
um, you could set the quality there because you know YouTube plays strictly 16 by 9 videos and that's what fits in their player so it's pretty cool that they added this. You can add the YouTube category as well. I would select film and animation or how to because what I do on my channel and you can upload it as public or private. I recommend that you always upload it as a private video so you could watch it over and then add your cards and your end screen elements before uploading it. The grand prize for this contest is a Canon PowerShot camera. So if you're interested in winning yourself a camera, be sure to follow the link in the description to find out more about this contest. That's pretty much it, and I hope you guys win. Thank you guys for watching. In my next tutorial, I'm gonna go over more in depth video settings, how you can add text, annotations, and animations to your video, as well as some other pre-animated content in Demo Creator. Thank you so much to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.